Hi everyone, welcome to MJS Coaching Football and thank you for watching my channel. Today what I want to talk to you about is one of our rifle uh, package line stunts that we simply call stick to or stick away. Okay, so in this video we're going to uh, base our stick to and away on the tight end and 11 personnel. Okay, so we're either going to be sticking to the tight end or we're going to be sticking away from it. And we'll incorporate it in that will be how our system is set up that helps us um, more easily teach or the simplicity, right? Easy teaching equals easy learning. Um, so our guys can uh, remember who's involved. The nose always is because he's right smack in the middle of the, of the front, right? Three, four but for the defense events, and that's where the organization of the system comes in. I'll also include how it impacts the gap responsibility for our inside linebackers, okay? As slight as it might be, it's still an impact, and so that'll all be incorporated in today's video. So over here, right, rifle package, run lines, the stick to or away, and today it's going to be based on the tight end versus 11 personnel, okay? So I'll go through what a stick to and a stick away is, the simplicity of it in terms of how our system is structured, easier teaching, easier learning, and then the impact on linebacker responsibilities. Then over here, I'll illustrate for you stick to at the top, stick away on the bottom to show you the ease of implementation and teaching, therefore execution. I only have... Uh, the box six defenders involved. I don't even have our outside de uh, detached linebacker, the dime. Okay, so the focus can be on the rifle line stun itself. All right, so number one, stick two, right? Again, two being the tight end. So for us, it's the defensive end opposite the call. Okay, so we'll bring all of these things in, these things in for you who will long stick, stick a gap. Okay, so the only time we use the term long stick is, is to explain for our guys what stick means. To eliminate a word, we just call it stick. But for most people out there, it's the long stick, right? Two gap reduction. And then the nose goes simply a gap to the call. Okay? So then watch this, right? That's stick two, number two, stick away. Again, the tight end, it's the D end opposite the call. Long sticks, A gap. Nose, A gap to the call. So, right? So now the question in your mind should be, whoa, wait a minute. It's two or away. How can it be the same guy? Well, that's the beauty of it, and that's where our system comes in. Right? Number three, simplicity. Ah, Okay, our defensive ends align left and right. End is always left, nose is always right. I mean, stud's always right, excuse me, nose always in the middle. And left, stud right, nose in the middle. Therefore, anytime in, now this is for stick. Anytime it's a Ringo call, the end knows it's him. Anytime it's a lucky call, the stud knows it's him, right? They do the same thing either way, long stick and A gap. They just do what they're told. They follow the call. That's up to the inside linebackers to direct them. They go to the call. So that's also part of the system. In our rifle package, our guys up front, listen, if, if it's lucky, it's left. If it's Ringo, it's right. Okay, and it's established by the fact in our system, they're left and right. So on the, to the outsider, it might be like, holy crap, how do you do all of this? How do you expect that guy? Okay, you got to set your system up, first of all, for a way that makes sense to you. You can't, you know, teach it to anybody if it doesn't make sense to you. This makes sense to me. Therefore, I can teach it to coaches. We can all teach it to our players. Different letter for every defender. All 11 have a different letter, right? In the case where we have a field corner of free safety, they have two letters, FC, FS. 
You see what I mean? We have B for backer. Boundary corner is BC. So it's very easy to look for our guys and know who's who. It's not, you know, everybody's a T or everybody's an inverted V, everybody's a B. We don't do that. Okay, we don't have an S for the SAM or an SS. You know, we don't we don't do this is how we do it. So it all goes together with this the uh, easier teaching equals the easier learning, right? So there's that. And then ultimately, the impact on the linebacker's gap responsibility. Okay? And it's not as though it changes every single time. This is the change, and I'm going to teach it to you now. All right? So up, up top, it's a stick, too, so it's going to be a ringo because the tight end's on the right. And on the bottom, it's going to be a stick away. It'll be a lucky because the tight end's still on the right. And we want to go away from him. Okay, so follow the logic, right? Yeah, Ringo, it's going to be the end. It's always the noses involved. Lucky, it's going to be the stud. Always the nose involved. So see, if you're an end or a stud, all you care about is, it, is it Ringo or Lucky? It's up to your inside linebackers to point you in the right direction. And they're the ones making... The right calls for the tight end, which is on both, which is why it's a Ringo in this instance and a Lucky in the other, because it's going to the tight end, it's going away from the tight end. Okay? So let me illustrate first what stick two looks like. Okay? When the ball snapped, here's your long stick, right? Double reduction, two-gap reduction into the A-gap. Your nose... Taking the slant step, 45 degree angle, right? Near hip, reading the near hip, that's the aiming point and eyes of the guard. As he's working, he's now reading the near hip and of the uh, center. Okay? So what this means, so not subscribers, here's a freebie. Play side, both linebackers still have C-gap. But now their backside gap changed, okay? So we're anticipating. Like, this is really good versus inside zone. You take away both A gaps where that play likes to hit, especially when they run inside zone to the tight end. That's a good reason to run this. But let's just say, you know, for the sake of discussion, the play hits this way. So now... Right, C gap. Now, three gap is the B gap because we got the A gaps covered. Ah. So, the inside linebacker away from the call is always going to be the guy who has the B gap. Or okay, shouldn't necessarily say away from the call. The inside linebacker on the side of the call, I sh what I should say, when they run the play away from the call, there we go, right? The play's going away from the call. Is the one who has the adjustment, his gap responsibility has been impacted. So now down here, right, it's a lucky. There's your two gap reduction or your long stick. There's your 45 degree step. If the play goes this way, okay, he's not going to follow. If he sees same color, he'll exchange one gap to the outside, which ends up being the B gap. Okay, but remember, if the play's coming this way, it's probably that inside zone, so these gaps are moving. So now that'll be, he would be involved in that cutback, okay, just so you know. But then again, if the play were coming this way, C gap, B gap. That that's an automatic because as the, as the um, surface is coming to them and they're working opposite that surface, now they got to penetrate. So they're fixed in those gaps. 
It's up to the linebackers to make it right. Okay? So step one, organize your system in such a way that it's easy for you guys to line up. Have calls that make sense that are consistent. You can't change the calls willy-nilly. They got to be the, the same calls all the time. They got to make sense. For us, begin it with an L, begin it with an R. If you want it to be left or right, have the word begin with an L or an R. Whatever it might be, right? Have it simple so that your guys can look and know who's who. Because everybody's got a different letter. Whatever you're calling, it's up to you. That's a beautiful thing of football. But make it, you know, have it make sense and make it simple. So somebody with any with any level of football IQ or acumen can sit down and kind of get an idea or on their own what you're doing. Because if they can't, then it's probably too complicated even for your own guys. Okay? So stick to her away. Today, it's all about the tight end. It doesn't have to be. If you have questions, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. I'll share with you all the different ways that we've utilized stick to and away and who it's been going to or away from, right, depending on tendencies and so forth. So non-subscribers, push that button and watch my introduction to the rifle package, and you can learn even more specifics. Again, thank you for watching because I do really appreciate it.